So hi guys, Lou Beltran here, the IT veteran, and in today's video, we're going to be adding a new site uh, in our unified network controller. So the new site will be named uh, Lafayette Hotel. It's one of my clients. So let's get started. So in order for us to add a new site, we just need to go here at the upper right hand corner of the unified network controller dashboard and if you click that one you have an option to add a new site so you can also do a site overview for all of the sites that you have in your unified controller but since this uh, hotel ha is a new deployment for my uh, uh, project we'll be creating a new site so just click on new site here then just put the name the Lafayette Hotel. Then just click on submit. And that will create a new dashboard specifically for Lafayette. So as you can see, um, it already has pre, uh, pre configured everything. Um, there's no devices. Um, Insights client, it, it has its own dashboard basically. Okay. So if we go to settings, um, you can use the new beta settings for the Unify. Um, but I'm more comfortable as of the moment in using the classic mode. So as you can see, here's the name of our site, Lafayette Hotel. We can, you can actually choose what country the location is it's in. Um, let's go with Philippines. Then you can set the time zone. Um, this is very important for you to be able to uh, accurately read the logs on your uh, Unify controller. So let me just find Singapore here because it's the closest uh, uh, time zone that we have. Um, you can actually choose Manila. We'll choose Manila because anyways, we're in the Philippines. So you can actually also adjust the screen brightness here. Um, you can also enable multi-rack screen synchronization, but that's for the version two uh, products of Unify. Um, this hotel is using the version one products. Then um, you can enable advanced features. Um, you can set uh, how much is the bandwidth, uh, the total bandwidth for the internet connection. For ours, it's only 200 MB because I haven't uh, sent the upgrade request yet to our ISP. Um, the, hotel is, the hotel isn't open yet, uh, isn't actually open yet. So you can also send alert emails going to your uh, Ubiquiti account. So um, I also like to enable advanced features. Uh, this unlocks uh, advanced features for all of the options here for your Unify controller for this site. Um, I like that turned on. Then you can also tick, uh, automatically upgrade device firmware if your uh, devices would. Uh, if Unify releases new firmware for each of their products, the, your system will automatically upgrade to that one. But um, as you know, uh, in the IT world, that, that is not really a good uh practice because you have to test first new firmwares before you uh, implement it in your uh, project site. So I like to turn that off and um, you can also enable remote syslog servers and that console logging servers here but uh, since this is a new deployment we haven't set up anyone anything of those yet so we'll just uh, skip those um, then apply changes. As you can see there's a uh, additional uh, window that came out here that's because of the enable advanced features so um, device authentication you can actually change the default password of all unified devices using this interface so whenever um, a new device registers to this site uh, Lafayette Hotel it's going to adopt the new login and password for your uh, devices so I, I highly recommend you change this one and that's it um, that's how you set up the, your Unify network controller. We can actually um, uh, go into uh, adding additional the, the wireless networks, the firewalls, threat management, um, the hotspots, DPI, but that's for another video. So that's it, fellow IT engineers for this uh, uh, YouTube uh, video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.